Before this video starts, I'd like you guys to hit that like button because when you like this video, it actually helps the algorithm. Also, if you haven't been receiving notifications, hit that bell button so you are notified whenever I drop videos or go live. The difference between Goofer's Dust and Bidon is that one kills you slowly and the other kills you instantly. <laughs> well, I would say this, both are ingredients that you have to be very careful with. And from what I know is that the Goofer's Dust is something that's used in America, but we have a variation of it. We call it kutput, and that can be many, many. It can be in many forms. Uh, basically, it is usually mixed up with other things so that it can mask what it is. So therefore, it's put in a path to where someone's gonna go or where whatever they're gonna touch, and when they touch it, it basically gets into their system. It is almost as though it is saturates the system. As time goes on, its effect begin to weaken the individual. So as time goes on, you may see that this person goes through a series of health complications after a while. The first onset of it is a person starts to feel fatigue. And after a while, this fatigue continues and then the body begins to break down after a specific time period. But ultimately, the goal of Goofer's Dust is to put someone six feet under, or to voyeur you not pay your son chapeau, which means to send them in to send them to their country without their hat. <laughs> that is a saying in Creole. Now, the don is a different animal. That is that is more of like chemistry. That is more of chimie. This is something very dangerous, and a lot of people have died utilizing it because it is something that if you make contact with it accidentally it could kill you there is no washing it off taking a bath or taking a spiritual cleanse or playing to the loa you know to come save you you are dead you are dead you are over dead you are six feet about to meet lucifer in person <laughs> so listen usually these things are sent after someone who has done very evil they have done such as rape uh they have you know stole or sold people's land usually this is what people uh you know utilize in haiti but in america it's kind of for various malicious reasons you know somebody could have did them wrong and basically they, people want their revenge sometimes it's some people like to walk up some people like to get up close and personal you know, uh, usually in a situation like this, it's something that you, you know, you have to be careful with. If you're the type of person that's liberal, you know, you're loose with your lifestyle. When you're in, when you're in an environment such as Haiti or DR or in the South, you got to watch out because, you know, there's, there's definitely knowledge of how, uh, you know, how toxic this stuff can be, how it can basically cause the detriment of an individual, you know? So if you have problems with people, it would be wise that you watch your back. Because you never know who's going to come about with it. Sometimes people send people as a mask. They can come over. Your person can be a friend or something like that. They, they, like they say in America. The back door is always open. You know. So you know.
you know, I, I mean, I don't even got to talk on the DR side whatsoever. I, I rather let people from Dominican Republic speak for them, you know, speak, you know, speak on their behalf. But I can say from Haiti, I would say this, you know, basically, if you have problems with someone, some people would send to see people after you. They'll send your own best friend or your, your, your family member to basically use that against you. I mean, even the Asian voodoo community. I believe there was a mumbo in Florida who husband met that demise at a voodoo ceremony. You know, so um, it, it's something that you got to be very cautious about. You know, that stuff, that bit done stuff is very dangerous. You know, uh, I would just say, listen, I can't tell you to pray. I would just say be vigilant and be cautious. You know, don't take drinks from anyone. Don't be shaking people's hands. Don't be touching things without basically knowing what the fuck you're touching. You know, you never know. I would basically say protect yourself at all times.